Hey guys, so we're going to create a VDM brush. It's really quite simple here in Blender 3.6. Just go to Edit Preferences, and you're going to turn on an add-on. And it comes with Blender, so it's the VDM Brush Baker add-on. Okay, so just enable that. Save your preferences. Don't need the cube. You can press the N key to bring out the side panel, right? It's going to be under Tools, okay? And right here is the drop-down for it. It has a convenient little button here to create a sculpting plane, which is excellent because it brings in a subdivided plane with a multi-res modifier on it. That's actually kind of important. You'll see here in a second why that might apply to you, okay? Now, let's go into sculpt mode. So basically, you can sculpt in the positive or negative. It doesn't really matter. You can kind of go both ways with it if you wanted to, but uh, check this out. If we wanted to make some quick sculpts of like a tooth or something for a creature or something like that, right? Uh, we can do that you know, relatively fast, you know, you can spend your time on this if you want, uh, but like you're making like a shark tooth or uh, something else to go on your characters or creatures and certainly have the option now of setting them up like this, especially if you're doing like concept sculpts and stuff like that, right? This can be really useful. All right, so we'll just give it some definition, make it a little bit more interesting. There we go. Um, I probably should scrape these down a little bit as well. It's a little too thick there, in my opinion. All right, so, you know, take your time on your sculpt. Make it look how you want it to look. Now, I'm going to go ahead and smooth... Uh, well, a little too much smoothing, I think. I'm going to smooth it down a little bit. Turn the smoothing down, go around it, smooth it out. There you go. Okay, and so what ends up happening here is sometimes you get this little raised up section on the outside. You might not want that. When you're using a multi-resolution and you're sculpting with it, you can use the uh, multi-res erasement or erasement, the erase displacement uh, tool. So this, this is what happens. You can just kind of knock it back and it, it's erasing back to its original shape basically is what it's doing. So you can sharpen things up that way if you need to or uh, bring them back to a flat plane anyways. So that's cool. Now Here's what happens next. It gets a little bit complicated here. So first up, I'm going to right-click, shade it smooth, make sure it's all the way I want. And we're going to bake this thing. You just have to select it to be able to bake it, right? But you might want to give it a name like Shark Tooth or something like that, right? And then you want to set the map resolution to whatever you want. Right? 512, 1024, it doesn't. You know, pick, pick whatever you think is going to work best for you. Uh, the compression and stuff, you don't really need to touch all that much. You might want to play with the render samples a little bit, but... That's good. I'm going to leave that one up to you, all right? Okay, so all you do is select it. You click Render and Create VDM Brush. Boom. Now what's going to end up happening is it creates the Shark Tooth Brush. You can see this turned red. That just means next time we'll have to overwrite it. If we change the name of this, right, and click somewhere outside of it, you'll see it goes back to that, right? Not a big deal. So otherwise we overwrite it. Now, when we go back into Sculpt Mode, you'll see our brush is actually under Draw. And it's right here. So you click this little icon, and then there's Shark Tooth there. And it's set up by default. It's kind of the best way to use VDMs, right? Like you just drag and, and pull out, right? It's that simple. Now, here's a trick about this, though. If we jump over to the UV editing window real quick, I'm just going to use this UV editing window for, to look at the, um, the... Actually, we could use Texture Paint, maybe. All right, so Texture Paint. We'll load up uh, the shark tooth here. Okay. Can't even see it. So yeah, maybe the UV editor was better. All right. Let's get rid of that. Okay. So this is the actual VDM texture, right? That was generated. So you click the little icon. You can load it up. All right. This thing's kind of saved in a weird location. If I click open, you'll see that it's actually saved in temporary output VDM, right? Which is okay but you probably want to save this somewhere else for later on. And so what's going to end up happening is you need to, you know, you can just come to this folder the way we just did, right click this, external and open folder. Okay. And so now you can actually get to them a little bit easier and you can drag and drop them wherever you need to go. Okay. That's just one thing. They're saved externally. All right. It, but when it comes to the brush itself, like you want to use this brush later on, you need to save the blender scene, right? And let's save this as Shark Tooth somewhere on the desktop, right? Okay. Now, because when you um, start a new sculpt project, you'll see Sculpt Draw. It's not there. 
like your new blender scene it's not there right blender saves the sculpting tools in the blender scene they're supposed to update that at some point i don't know when but uh, so you actually have to save your blender file with your brush you have to go to append and then you can go to wherever it is and you're going to append it the brush okay in this case we've created what was called shark tooth so here it is we can actually append that into the file now right and we'll have the shark tooth so that's just one thing you need to keep in mind now here's another thing because this is an external file you're probably going to end up either accidentally deleting it or blowing it away by accident uh, unless you actually place all your vdm alphas or whatever you want to call them uh, into a into a folder where you know it's going to be safe and on the flip side of this if you append that brush in and that vdm file isn't located where it should be it's probably not going to work so you can always go to file external data and you can pack resources and when we do this you'll see it packs one file all right that's that's packing one file and what it's done is it's packed the uh, texture here into the blender file so uh, it'll be saved with the blender file it'll reference this and matter of fact you can come up here later on if you needed to and you can unpack it as well okay instead of opening it this time right and so that's pretty much it in a nutshell it's actually really simple like once you understand those little nuances to it but um, yeah, you can just sculpt on a plane after a plane after a plane and just bake them out. It's really, it's really fast. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll check you out in the next one. All right. Take care.